Hello everybody, it's uh, it's Dev, the modernist colourist. Um, this is the, um, it's one of my hauls that I've had this week, but I've had to split it into two. Uh, not, not because of the size of it, but because of uh, time constraints and work and what have you. So, um, first of all, I wanted to show you this book. Um, now, I've already told you about this one in my first video, but I was enabled on this one by Claire from Colour with Claire. And it wasn't until this week that I uh, I got it out and started to work in it. And I must say, this is one of the best books I've ever worked in. Uh, the paper quality and the designs are absolutely immense. And as you can see at the moment, I'm working on this uh, Rapunzel type lady. Um, I've got another half of hair to shade yet and to, to add some more pencil work in. Um, but... I can't wax lyrical enough about this book. It is such a nice book. Um, the images are just brilliant. The paper's brilliant. And the polychromos work absolutely excellent um, on this paper, along with marker, of course. So I want to just give you a, a quick flip through of that one, because that's kind of come out of the archives and um, <clears throat> it's become my current favorite. Um, I will leave, leave a link uh, at the bottom in the description on how you can purchase this book. But it is the Whimsical Wonders book, the artist edition, and it's by Julia Spiri, or Spire, Spiri. So that's that. Okay, now the one I'm really excited about is the one that um, came yesterday, and it's this book here. This is uh, Coloriage Wild by Emmanuel Collin. Um, it's got 28 pages. Uh, it's ring bound at the top, as you can see. But on a par with Whimsical Wonders, this is why you'll see that I've done that one first. It's very, very similar in the designs. But again, this paper is an absolute joy to work in. The, the perforation lines are at the top. Uh, leaving a proper full square, uh, an even square for the image. Um, but if you are working on your skin tones, which is what I'm doing at the moment, or practicing, then I can't recommend this book highly enough. The There is a slight grayscale to it, as you can see, which kind of helps you with the shading. Um, but the absolute quality is divine. Uh, and for me to say divine, I mean, a Yorkshireman saying divine, what's that about? But yeah, it's 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 such a pleasure to, uh, to own a book like this. Uh, and again, um, I'm going to put a link in the description of all the books that I've got on this particular haul and uh, supplies. Uh, I have just applied for a, an affiliation and strangely I've asked a few other people and um, they've responded to me by saying we will look at the application once you've sold three products. So if you are thinking of buying any of these books, if you use my links, that would be uh, very much appreciative. I'm not going to get a kickback for it or anything, but it will help with my uh, application to become an affiliate. Uh, and then going through the rest of this book, I mean, as you can see, uh, the paper is almost cardstock. It's, I would say, just an off-white, maybe an ivory white. I mean, the, how cute is that image? Uh, and the, the, the hair that sprails out here uh, just screams, screams blending to you, doesn't it, you know? Um, so I cannot work, wait to work in this book. Uh, we have a lady with a quiff here, very funky hairstyle, <coughs> with the cornrows at the side <coughs> and the massive, massive uh, Little Richard kind of Elvis Presley quiff. But these books, uh, I know I keep going on about it, but I've got a lot of books and uh, I've very rarely come across one 
of the quality of these two that I've got here. So that's uh, another one that screams blend into you. Well, it does to me anyway. Excuse me. Just while I flip through the rest of this book, I'm going to do uh, another video tomorrow, which is the second half of the haul. Uh, and then further to that tomorrow, I'm going to announce the uh, the giveaway winner, which is for... Uh, the pack of Sharpies and the Crayola brush tips in the Pro range. They're going to be uh, packed up and sent out early next week to whoever wins those. I've got to answer about... Well, there are about 80 questions on the uh, on the thread. But of course, most of the... Well, not most of them, but some of them have been repeated somewhat. So uh, I don't have to answer that many questions, fortunately. Uh, it's going to be around 40, 50 mark. Um, and as you can see, as I continue through this book, I mean, there's no point doing a narrative with this book like I usually do with my others because they're all very, very similar. But, you know, uh, if, if you want to practice skin tones and blending, then in my opinion, I wouldn't hesitate to buy this book at all. Can barely turn the pages, it's that stiff and rigid. That's a nice one, particularly. You've got a frog that's added to the bouquet of flowers uh, in a hair, which obviously will be so many different colours if you wanted it to be. Um, oops. Sorry about that. And then you've got this one. I think they may be orchids, are they? I might be wrong. But, uh, again, it's the same principle in every picture. But like I said earlier in the video, the images are fantastically drawn. It's a culmination of uh, excellent artwork, but the, there is a little bit of fine detailing, but not a lot. So it, it doesn't, you know, kind of overawe you when you uh, look at the pictures. And of course, they are quite a little bit smaller than the other books. So therefore, you know, the time constraints for those that are busy, these are perfect as well. And that's cute with a little Robin on there. And then we have this girl again. Am I right in thinking they've maybe repeated these? Yes, they have. So I do apologise about that. They've just repeated the last three by the look of it. Okay, so... That is the Coloriage Wild by Emmanuel Collin. It's published by Avenue Mandarin, or Mandarin. And the back of the book, it's got a little hanging feature here if you want to hang it up. Um, and then the back of the book has got all the thumbnails with the images on. And as you can tell by the quality of the of the cover, it's just it's just a fantastic book. So I'm very excited to get that. Very excited to show it you all. There is one that will be in tomorrow's that I'm uh, also quite excited about. And then finally, I managed to get uh, Botanicum by Maria Troll. Uh, most of you will have seen a flip through of this. But whenever I've tried to buy it, um, for instance, when it first came out, I looked online and... They're offering it uh, on Etsy and, and a couple of other websites, uh, but the postage was more than the book. <coughs> so I didn't bother with it, but I did notice on Amazon that they had the thumbnail there, but just said currently unavailable. So I kept watching it. And then it became available the other day and I clicked, ordered it. Um, and within, I think it was maybe four or six hours, it was sold out again. So I guess it's one of those that has a limited amount of reprints. They put them on Amazon, and then if you're lucky enough, you'll get one. So I won't do a flip through of this uh, unless somebody specifically asks. But again, uh, in tune with her other books, Maria has 
published a great book here. We've got some with black backgrounds. We've got some with the animals. Uh, there's a lot of plants, as you would imagine, being called botanicum. There's Tilly up there, up. That's Sammy's uh, budgie. <laughs> and then we've got various other images which are cute. There's a pumpkin here that could be used for Halloween. A unicorn. Uh, a page of fish. So, again, very pleased to get that. I've been after it months and months. But I just wouldn't pay the the postage charges that they were. I think it was twenty eight pounds to post, and the book was about fourteen pounds. So forty two pounds for a book delivered is just whether you can afford it or not. It's just stupid. So I refuse to pay it. So that is Botanicum, uh, which, like I said earlier, most of you will have seen that. It's a heavy, very good quality book. It's hard backed and it's in this great design with Botanicum written in gold foil and the colour book illustrated by Maria Troll just excuse me a moment guys while I have a drink thank you <clears throat> so next I got these again in tone with what I'm doing at the moment, which is practicing skin tones. These are the Shuttle Art Skin and Hair Tones, and there are 26 colours dual tipped. Now, I've not opened them yet, I saved it for the camera. So, I'll give these a quick little look. So, you're getting my first impressions, as it were. So it comes in a cardboard box. It comes in a cardboard box and I think that, see? Yeah, it is. So let's tip those out anyway, because they'll have to... Sorry about the noise. So here we have the 26 shuttle art markers, which are predominantly advertised as skin and hair tone so you've got the art marker itself here you've got the colour on the end with this one is yellow ochre usual sort of uh, sketch you've got the bullet tip fine at one end and the chisel tip at the other now I'm going to do a swatch of these uh, in another video, but I'll quickly go through the colours with you. So if you're thinking of buying these, you will know because it doesn't tell you on the description. Um, it doesn't tell you what colours there are. So that one is yellow ochre. We have pastel yellow. We have a black. We have a bronze green which is an unusual one we have a pale yellow we have cosmos pink we have wine red we have pale pink geranium Chocolate, warm grey, put them to one side, we have brick brown and burnt sienna, we also have pastel violet, vermilion, Orange, we have salmon pink, azale azalea purple, I think that is, 
pastel pink, pastel yellow, another pastel yellow, strange. We have brown grey, pastel peach, carmine, blue grey, melon yellow, and marigold. So just to finish off before, I'm not going to swatch them all, but I do have a a test pad here that I use for my colours. So let's get a new sheet. So, so I'll use a couple of them and just show you. The ones I'm keen to look at are the salmon pink and the the bronze green was it? Which I've never heard of. Yeah. So, <coughs> excuse me, let me, let's have a look at them in a box. So the salmon pink looks like this. We will use the finer tip of the two. And like with the books, I'll leave a link in the description for these markers. So that's um, that's the salmon pink that can be used, as you can see, for a flesh tone, no problem at all. And this is the bronze green. So let's have a quick look at this one. What I can say is on first impression, they're not as dense as the home cubes. As in, the opacity of the home cubes just don't have marks in full stop. Um, but these are look, looking okay. Because obviously, you don't want to use in my opinion, you don't want to use your best markers for skin tones that you're going to be colouring over the top of. So if you can find um, a budget or medium budget one, which I've done with these shuttle arts, because these, I think these were £18 for 26 which is not bad at all. Um, let that drive it <coughs> yeah as I was saying I don't think you would uh, I don't think you would want to use your best uh, expensive markers that you got I mean if you want a specific tone then yes but if it's just for general coloring that you're going to be using pencil work over the top then you know you're better off getting the blend with these first and then adding your work later that's just my opinion anyway um, they're all right. Um, they're not the they're not the best I've used by any means, but like I say, on the back it's got all the uh, all the different colours, and it comes in a, a reasonably sturdy box. Uh, although, you know, I wouldn't be I won't be keeping them in this. You know, once we've uh, once they've been opened. But yeah, so that's the um, the shuttle art 
uh, skin and hair tones, 26 colours. Uh, it was about £18, I think. So I will leave a link in the description. Um, they're pretty good. I mean, that that um, that salmon pink colours left uh, a reasonably good um, coverage. That's a bit blotchy at the moment, but it's still drying. So that's the markers that I've got, or the markers that I've got in this part, should I say. Uh, this is the next book I got, which is called Little Witches. Now, it is published by The Fruitful Mind. And again, we have uh, the 5x4, 20 images on thumbnail at the back. Now, I can't remember who it was that showed this book. It's not one of my finds, so. But I did think it was quite cute in so much that, uh, again, you can practice your skin tones and doing the pencil work on top, which is something I'm enjoying doing at the moment. Uh, as you can see, there are um, a lot of Halloween based pictures when with that coming up I thought I'd get it and show it you guys that uh, I thought that was the one on the cover there is one in here that I particularly like um, which I think I'll be doing first she kind of reminds me of the bewitched with the with the nose that goes a bit uh, twitchy that's probably the one that I'm going to start doing first. Uh, I think that's a good one, especially for Halloween. Um, I think it's Create Space Paper. I'm not 100% sure. It doesn't say. Uh, well, it says printed by Amazon, so it will be. Um, I'm not a big fan of Create Space Paper, but, you know, providing you wear. You wear, providing you use your protective uh, equipment, then you'll be fine. That's a pretty cool one. So yeah, I'm not going to do uh, in-depth flip-throughs, but if anybody does want an in-depth one, by all means ask and I will do it. I then, the other day, went to the works which is a UK based stationers and I picked this up for three pounds now I've got a lot of tattoos and I thought well I'll just have a look um, the book is reasonably well made it's got a lay flat binding feature with it it's made by Pat Leisure and uh, this book was made in Canada and released in 2016 and it's called Body Ink Envy so I got it because there actually are I mean the, the pictures are double sided which is a bit naff but there actually are some really nice designs in here you will have to excuse my voice I'm, uh, I'm suffering with a big cold at the moment um, but as you can see the paper's good quality. I really like this one. Um, you know, and there is plenty of choice in this book, which is another good thing about it. There are loads of gems here. Yeah, you can do your gem work on. That's another good image. But the one I particularly like, we'll get to it. Where is it bloody gone? Where you at mate? Where you at? Ugh. Can't find it anyway. Um, so yeah, for three pounds, uh, very well made book, good paper. Uh, the only downside is it's double sided, like I said, but you know, you can't go wrong for that price, really. And there are some nice designs in it. 
Oh, there's one. That's the one that I like. Uh, the bat. But it's the way that he's holding the cape. It's pretty cool. Uh, he's kind of like saying, come on, come on, come on, have a go if you dare. And um, I think that'll be probably the first one that I do. There are some weird mazes in this. I think there's only two of them, but I'm not sure why. But like I said, for three pounds, you cannot go wrong at all. Even if you only do two or three images in it, you know, it's more than worth the money. So that's the Body Ink Envy, which is um, a Pat Leisure creation. Uh, and it is a pretty sturdy book on the paper. Like I said, it is pretty good. Let me get a sheet for you. It's not, you know, it's not tissue paper by any means. So that's that. And then I got... While I was there at the works... Mythomorphia. Five pounds it cost. I don't know why you wouldn't want a second copy at five pounds. For me, in my opinion, this is the best one he's done so far. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, there is just so many hours of entertainment in this book, as you've all probably seen millions of times before. But it was down to a fiver. And they've got loads of them in stock, so... If any of you Brits uh, are in the uh, are in your local town centres and you've got a fiver and you think, do you know what, I'm going to get a copy of that or a second copy, they've got them in, uh, in the works. And then the final book I want to show you, which I'm very happy about, is this one. I got this on Amazon. After trying a couple of times previous, very similar to the experience I had with Botanicum, not quite as uh, intense, but this is called The Search for the Lightbulb Burglar. Now, I think if memory serves, Shalene's shown this book before, but I want to show it just based on the actual quality, which kind of runs in tune with this book and the Colouriage one. It's by David Haben, which is spelled H-A-B-B-E-N. On the back, you've got all these light bulbs, which is a feature of the title, and then a little bit about the author. It's published by Page Street, and it has premium binding. And it's a weighty book. But all I can say is, it's absolutely gorgeous, this book. So you have the, the opening title page. A little bit of an introduction. There's a blank page here that you could test your mediums on. And then as you can see, I mean, how cool is that? You've got this steampunk guy with the curly tash uh, and all this detail to colour in. Same with this one, but the pages are so heavy. Oops. Stuck together that. And you've got some light bulbs. You've got the curly stash man again. I'm not sure that's any good. But I mean, as you can see, it's just a joy. The book is such good quality. And in this book, I think that what would look nice in this book is marker-based big spaces with your pencil on top. And then all the finer details used in gel pen. Because I think that because there's not such a serious side to the images, uh, 
the resulting work, if you like, would look better because there's a lot of italics and stuff in gel pen. You know, that for instance, you know, all the little wires and that kind of thing. So I think what I'm going to do with this book is use pencils and gel pens. And then, like this coat here, will be marker with pencil on top. So I really did want to show you that book. It's beautiful. It's very, very well made. It weighs a ton. So what I shall do is I shall leave a link for everything I've shown you today in the description. And like I said at the beginning of the video, if, if you find that you want any of these books, then please use the links I've provided because, like I say at the moment, they're considering me for an affiliation with Amazon, which would be pretty cool. <coughs> and if you can put up with me cold, then I will be doing uh, the giveaway video tomorrow and I'll also be doing the part two of the haul tomorrow. So that's me, that's Dev. I hope you liked the video. I hope you managed to... Uh, understand what I was saying beneath this uh, horrible voice that I've got at the moment and if you did like the video please give it a big thumbs up and if you're not subscribed to my channel and you would like uh, notifications on future content then please please give us a, a, a subscription and then I'm kind of I'm kind of trying to, to, to bring uh, unusual stuff to the channel uh, and as you will see in tomorrow's haul, there's a, at least two or three books that I've not seen before. So I'm kind of working on that theme. So obviously the more people that spread the word, the better. Um, so thanks very much for listening. Uh, like I say, especially with this quirky voice. And um, please tune in tomorrow and have a lovely Saturday evening and a good day tomorrow. And I'll speak to you soon. Thank you.